Falcon own first game tonight at St. James Park watching Newcastle. If you can see your rugby fan there with a the Falcons hat on, how did that compare? Yeah, I really enjoyed the atmosphere, mate. I mean, it doesn't really compare rugby to football in terms of atmosphere. Everyone's just so much more up for the game. Mm -hmm. um, the atmosphere is just electric. The flags at the beginning, everyone chanting, everyone cheering. Um, it's just a really happy place to be, especially when there's, you're at a football club that really seems to be going places as well. And it kind of just embodies the, the culture and the, um, the personality of the city too. Um, it was nice to be amongst fans that are similar to me, um, that have been born and bred in Newcastle, proud to be from Newcastle, proud to be Geordies, and that really came across in their pride for their football club tonight. There's more, it's a very good time to get into supporting Newcastle, like you say, with the way the, the movement of the club going. Is that why you decided to come tonight? Because you feel so from the city that everyone's in the right direction? Yeah, absolutely, mate. And I also think one of the, the key things was the ticket prices. I think it was really accessible. Um, allow people like me, who's, who's a sport fan, um, but I'm not a, f a big football fan. Um, it makes it accessible mm. and affordable for a lot of people as well. So I think that was a really good thing too. As it whetted the appetite? Yeah. If we get a home and draw in the quarter final, are you going to try and get another ticket? <laughs> absolutely, mate. Absolutely. Yeah, mate. yeah, yeah. I think it's, um, I think, I think it's a, it's a good, uh, it's a good competition for um, Eddie Hart to hopefully um, focus on and, and maybe get the boys uh, closer to that final area. Um, I mean, th I think the league's the. It is is really where like um, his energy should go. But if he's successful in this, then I think you'll um, you'll have a lot of plaudits and you'll be remembered for a long time. Even if we just get the the semis or something like that, mate. Um, it's it's really good to see Newcastle competing, being in the game, um, with obviously the hopes and dreams of, of the city behind them, that type of thing. That's the thing you've mentioned. The city. You've mentioned the fact that you know people are trying to point in the right direction. Imagine if this club could bring a trophy to the city, the scenes on these streets would be scary, wouldn't yeah, they really? It really would, mate. <laughs> it's been a long time. There'd be nobody at work the next day, <laughs> the cities would be through the roof. I know, mate. everyone would be calling in sick with their bosses. <laughs> I mean, these NHS they? strikes, they'd be near fucking hell, mate. City would grind to a standstill, wouldn't it? <laughs> we'd be like zombies, mate, we'd be nothing, yeah? <laughs> yeah, we would, mate. Chances of Newcastle winning that, though, they're in the quarterfinals, they're in the last eight. Think they can do it? Why not, mate? Why, Why not? not? Absolutely. Why not? I like, I mean, anything else you want to talk about? Um, no, just thoroughly enjoyed my evening. Um, definitely going to come back. Had a great time. Well, enjoy yourself, mate. Come back for the next one. Thank you very much. Cheers, Connor. mate. Nice one. Cheers, boss. Yeah,